very good morning to one and all present here i am professor ac fulgele assistant professor in the department of mechanical engineering i welcome you all for the today's online lecture of advanced manufacturing technique an elective subject of eighth semester mechanical engineering my dear friends as you can see we have already started discussing uh, on oxidation and gas welding process we have discussed various and the different types of attachments essentially required for oxidation and gas welding process apart from acetylene what other gases we can use now on your screen you can see a typical torch tiles my dear friends uh, those actual pictures of the torches uh, are used for different types of uh, operations uh, according to the type of material to be welded the thickness of material to be welded accordingly we can use any one of out of these uh, welding torches now let us look into in more depth about those torches those typical types of torches a small welding torch with throttle valves located at the front end of the handle ideally suited to sheet metal welding can be fitted with the cutting as you can see essentially the regulating valves are there in the top picture you can see uh, right before to the mixing chamber and wherever those valves are present very next to that uh, there is there must be a mixing chamber and through that you can observe the length of the uh, torch and the nozzle isn't it for better mixing of both the gases we can provide that much length to each and every type of torch now the attachment in place of the welding head as shown in the picture welding torches of this general design are by far the most widely used they will handle any oxyacetylene welding job that can be fitted with the multi flame heads for heating applications and accommodate cutting attachments that will cut sheet metal up to 6 inch in thickness right 6 inch of thickness in sheet metal is a uh, really very thick material and those thickness can be cut or welded with the help of this particular type of torch a full size oxygen cutting torch which has all the valves located in its rear body another style of cutting torch with oxygen valves located at the front end of the handle now the flame setting my dear friends right from the beginning we are hearing one particular word that is a flame flame that it means a uh, a burning torch isn't it here in this process we can generate particular three different types of flames and out of those three different types of flames we can create we can generate a wide range of temperature now let us look into more detail in more depth about the flames and its setting there are three distinct types of oxyacetylene flames usually nominated as neutral 
carburizing or oxidizing flame right as far as their title is concerned we can assume we can understand the type of gas flow the supply of gas and accordingly those flames are created the type of flame produced depends upon the ratio of oxygen to the acetylene acetylene in the gas mixture which leaves the torch tip or the nozzle now the flame definition the neutral flame is produced when the ratio of oxygen to acetylene in the mixture leaving the torch is almost exactly 1 to 1 isn't it if the air fuel mixture or the oxygen and acetylene mixture is proportionate to 1 is to 1 then we call the flame generated is a neutral one it's term neutral because it will usually have no chemical effect on the metal being welded it will not oxidize the weld metal it will not cause an increase in the carbon content of the weld metal right now the carburizing flame or it is also called as excess acetylene flame the excess acetylene flame as its name implies is created when the proportion of acetylene in the mixture is higher than the required to produce the neutral flame used on steel it will cause an increase in the carbon content of the weld metal of course isn't it now the oxidizing flame as far as its title is concerned excess oxygen is supplied causing creation of oxidizing flame the oxidizing flame results from burning a mixture which contains more oxygen than required for a neutral flame it will oxidize or burn some of the metal being welded now this pictorial representation indicating those three different types of flames wherein you can observe the color combination which is very similar to that of uh, the flame that we burn in domestic stoves in our households isn't it reducing or carburizing excess acetylene we reducing or carburizing flame its ratio is 0.9 into 1 it is generally used for alloy steels and aluminum alloys the color representation can be seen very adjacent to this uh, ratio the inner core is generally of sapphire color or uh, it is in orange color whereas the outer core of this flame is generally uh, colored with uh, sky blue isn't it then oxidizing wherein oxygen is supplied in excess in the ratio as 1 1.5 is to 1 which is generally used to weld brasses bronze copper etc their color combination as you can see the interior cone interior zone is uh, quite conical shaped whereas the secondary or outer zone is uh, in sky blue color and this type of flame is a little more sharp as you can see as compared with the uh, other two types of flames now the neutral flame wherein it 
the acetylene and oxygen gas is supplied in proportion the color combination and type of flame you can see my dear friends those pictures representation will help you and it will definitely enhance your understanding about the type of flame generated it is very good in my opinion for the beginners who are building for the first or second time isn't it now the actual pictures wherein you were uh, your understanding will be nourished the carburizing flame neutral flame and the oxidizing flame isn't it now the chemical composition for oxyacetylene oxy welding flame the acetylene that is c2h2 with oxygen that is o2 it gives carbon monoxide and hydrogen with further the carbon monoxide in the presence of hydrogen and excess oxygen it gives carbon dioxide and the water wherein you can observe even in actual practice while cutting or even though after building water droplets can be clearly seen at at the periphery of welding or cutting zone let us look into that in more depth the oxyacetylene flame has two distinct zones the inner zone that is primary combustion zone is the hottest part of the flame the welding should be performed so as the point of the inner zone should be just above the joint edges right the outer zone the secondary combustion envelope performs the two functions like preheat the joint edges and prevents oxidation by using some of the surrounding oxygen from weld pool for combustion and use of carbon dioxide and water vapor you may wonder that uh, tremendous heat we are generating at the range of 2500 degree celsius and up to uh, up to certain extent we can achieve it up to 3500 degree celsius but still water droplets are chemically formed isn't it the actual pictures if the oxygen cylinder is painted with green in that case the acetylene cylinder is painted with black generally if we are using propane then this color combination is used now the welding torch representing different stacks or different layers now from right hand side you can see welding torch handle but at the extreme right hand in the end you can observe two inlets those two inlets are for acetylene and oxygen holes and very next to that we can see two different regulators then the welding torch handle mixing chamber welding tip and at the end there is one nozzle All right now the gas welding technique those points we have discussed in our previous semester that is how i considered that we won't take we won't spare much time on to this discussion so let us look into that in more detail 
the gas welding technique depending upon the way in which welding rod and the welding torch may be used there are two usual techniques in gas welding those are left wall technique and right wall technique the left wall technique here the pictorial representation will enhance your understanding in this picture you can see filler rod blow pipe right hand side and the direction of weld is from right hand side to left as you can see in this picture the movement of the blow pipe the movement of the welding torch that it faces isn't it now the picture just below that is showing the different angles through which we will we will have to maintain the torch tip with the work piece right those pictures are representing the left world welding technique now the right world welding technique is opposite to that wherein the welding direction is from left hand side to the right hand side and accordingly the filler rod material and blow pipe that is welding torch is adjusted in 40 degrees to 50 degrees whereas filler rod is maintained from 30 to 40 degrees this is the right hand or right wall's welding technique different types of joints can be generated with the help of this process butt joint lap joint t joint corner joint it is uh, not restricted to those types of joints several types of joints can be generated it is very handy and easy to operate this welding techniques uh, can be Uh, handled with more ease, but certainly we will have to take some uh, um, precautions, or we must be conscious while uh, releasing the pressure through holes, isn't it? So that is uh, all for today's uh, lecture, and that is how I consider that the completion of uh, this oxidative and gas welding process. in our next lecture we will see some other type of building process till then thank you